Hi everybody, it's Ellen from Read Santa Clara and I'm here to tell you about all the things that we're sending you in your packet this month. And this month it's all about food. I don't know about you, but I love to eat food, I love to cook food, I love to read about food, I even like to tell stories about food. So the first thing is this month I made a newsletter for you, so it's a little bit different format from the letter we've been sending in the packet every month. So I hope that you'll enjoy reading it, and I hope it'll be a little bit easier for you to read. So the great thing about cooking for kids is that it's a fun way for them to learn and to practice reading and math and even learn a little bit of science. And you know, everybody always remembers things and learns them better when they're one having fun and two when they're actually doing it. So I want to show you about a little some things you can do when you're doing a recipe that are learning experiences. The first thing is if you just read off the recipe, I actually have a family cookbook that we put together a few years ago. And you can see in the cookbook, we have a list of all the ingredients, and then we've written out all the instructions on how do you make it. So just by going through and reading it, the recipe out loud together, you practice reading, and then step by step, you can figure out and do the instructions. So say you are making some oatmeal cookies, and you need to measure out the oatmeal. So this, my biggest cup, is one cup. My next size cup is half a cup. This one is a third of a cup, and this one is a quarter of a cup. So say we want to fill the cup up. So let's take first and fill our half cup up with oatmeal and put it into the whole cup and then let's flatten it out. So that's half a cup. So how much more do you think that I need to put in there to make a full cup? I think it might be two of these fours because I know that two of these equals a half. So let's try one more. There's one and two and I have a very full cup. But just measuring and talking about these things is a way for children to learn about them. So let's go on and I'll show you everything we have for you. Well, if you are a little preschool kid or a big upper school kid, the, I wanted to show you the books you get this month, but I want to start by reading a poem to you that I really like that I put in the newsletter. It's called Open a Book. Open a book and you will find peoples and places of every kind. Open a book and you can be anything that you want to be. Open a book and you can share wondrous worlds you find in there. Open a book, and I will too. You read to me, and I'll read to you. And that was written by Jane Baskwell, and it's right here at the very top of your newsletter that you'll get this month. So, if you're a little kid, you'll get a choice of board books that Priya has picked out for you. And if you're an older kid, you'll get a choice of chapter books that Priya has picked out for you. And I want you to remember if there was a book that you got that you really liked and you would like another one that's like it or another one in a series, just let Priya know and she's happy to send you exactly what you want. Okay, our first recipe that we're going to try and make is in your newsletter this month and it's called the Hooray Parfait and it's from Ready Rosie. And recipes are a really great way for your child to learn to follow directions and this is a good one for preschoolers and kindergartners to try. Now basically what it is, you put two scoops or two measurements of fruit and two measurements of yogurt and two measurements 
of cereal into a bowl. You can use any kind of fruit you want. I'm going to use a banana because they're easy to get and they're easy to slice up. And some yogurt and I have some of my husband's favorite cereal I'm going to use. So the directions are pretty simple. It just says in each cup place two scoops of yogurt. So I'm going to use a spoon and I'm just going to put in one, two scoops of yogurt. And you know, I forgot something really important before we started the recipe. I've already done it, but if you're going to make a recipe, don't forget to be sure and wash your hands with soap before you start. And then we're supposed to add two scoops of berries or bananas. So I'm just going to take this banana and take off the peel. And then the good thing about bananas is they're a great thing for little children to learn to slice because you could just use a dull table knot. So I'm going to cut some slices of banana, maybe about half the banana. And I'm going to put those in on top of my yogurt. And then I think I'm going to use my quarter cup for my cereal, since I've got yogurt all over my spoon. And there we go. I think we'll put one, two scoops. So you can see that's all easy enough for a preschooler to do. And there you go. There's my parfait, and we love to make these at Families for Literacy. It's one of our favorite desserts. You get strawberries, you can get different kinds of granola, and vanilla yogurt's really good. I had plain, but vanilla is delicious. So try this recipe, and I hope you like it. Hi, now we're going to make tiny tacos, and the recipe is in your newsletter this month. But it's from this cookbook, Salad People. And I want to show you, this is the picture version of the recipe. And I'm going to read to you what we're going to do, and then we'll do it. Oh, but first, be sure and go and wash your hands before you start to cook. I just washed my hands. So it says, put chips on a plate. So there's my chips on a plate. And then it says to add beans. So I'll do that. And then add the guacamole add some salsa, sprinkle on cheese, and if you want, you can put the chips together to make a little chip sandwich, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to leave them open. So here we go. So the first thing I think we'll do is grate the cheese. So I have a block of cheese. You can buy already grated cheese at the grocery store, or you can use cheese that you have and grate it like this with a cheese grater. Grating is really fun, but children just need to be careful not to cut their fingers because the grater blade is very, can be very sharp. And I know from experience because I've cut my fingers. So let me just grate a little bit of cheese here. Probably good. We'll shake the cheese out. So now our cheese is all ready to go. I'm going to just put the grater up there, get it out of the way. So here are my chips. And I just went to Trader Joe's to buy my ingredients. So here are the refried beans. So you have to be a little careful not to break your chip as you gently smear some refried beans. You could use beans you made at home if your mom likes to make beans, refried beans, or you can use ones from the store that come from a can like these do. Okay. So I think we'll just do two like that and then what came next? I think it was the guacamole that came next. Now, I bought the guacamole at Trader Joe's, but what I wanted you to notice was, and you know, there's writing and print all around us, and on back of all of these cans and containers of things we buy at the store, there's nutrition information. So it tells you how big a portion and how you, 
and how many calories you get from it, and then what kinds of nutrients and um, nutrition you get from it, protein and carbohydrates and fats and everything like that. So especially for older kids, that's another type of reading experience, as well as reading all the ingredients that come in whatever you are buying. So let's put some guacamole on. Just a little bit of guacamole. Now, I'm the kind of person that tends to put too much stuff on things, as my husband will tell you. So I'll try not to put too much on. Just drip it on, plop it on, and smear it around a little bit. Now we'll open up the salsa and put a little bit of salsa. So you can see this would be a really fun snack to make, or if you had a party or wanted to do an afternoon activity with your kids, this could be really fun. So then a little bit of salsa. And you know, if you don't like salsa, you don't have to put salsa on. If you don't like guacamole, you don't have to put guacamole on. You don't have to put beans on. You can just put on whatever it is you like. All right, there we go. We have two of them done. Now I'm gonna have to, this cheese is a little big, so I'm gonna kind of scrunch up the cheese. Like that. And put it on top. Now I guess I better eat one of these so you can see how yummy they are. So here goes with my tiny taco. Mmm. Very delicious. If you're in preschool or kindergarten or first grade or even second grade, be sure and watch this month's story time because of course it's all about food. We'll have a lot of fun. We'll sing the D-O-N-U-T song. I'll tell you the story of the hungry shopper and there'll be a special video I made telling the gingerbread boy with a real gingerbread boy. And you know, Mr. Chef's been sitting here the whole time and I forgot to look and see what's inside. There's something inside of him. Oh, he's very squeaky. Oh, there we go. We got, oh, and look at, look at all these little chefs. There's one, two, three, four, five. I can't even imagine how many there are. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten little chefs inside the great big chef. So I hope you have a great month and a great time with all your new books and your projects. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.